Um, got your part here. You started off with a sketch and then made some extrusions. Um, started getting it going and then uh, got a free form in there. Not really the best idea. Um, and then you came back through and you got to here. So it looks like uh, you got some good things going. Um, let's go ahead and investigate, see what's going on. Um, first off, you got multiple lines overlapping each other and then you also have a center line. So um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all this stuff out and draw a line all the way through and make it a center line. So that way you can see a center line all the way through the part. Um, also this one, you dimensioned either the line like so or from here to there. If you dimension like that, it'll give you the diameter symbol. So once we do that, let's do that. We can show our degrees of freedom. So we can go all over the place. This one, I'm going to make this one construction. And we're going to trim this. So it goes like so. And then, oh, it looks like actually, trim that. So it's mentioned from here to there. And it'll give you the diameter symbol. Here to here, it gives you the diameter. Um, this one looks like this little piece. So, not sure if you have it here to there. That one's supposed to be held, 34 and a half maybe. And then you have your 80. So, the overall height is 130. Now we're fully constrained. So, if we do that. Okay. It's easier to use radiuses than that. You can change this and do uh, dimension type, radius, or diameter. So if you make it a diameter like you had it, there you go. So just kind of personal preference. Now when we finish our sketch, you can come into here and go 3D model. You want to do revolve, and it will grab all of it. There you go. So hopefully that gets you going. Um, the main thing I think was revolve and also setting up a center line. If you have this just be a regular line, you won't be able to get the diameter symbol like that. So hope that gets you going.